been a couple weeks since we did a video so I thought I would come down and do another one of Richmond probably not a lot has happened down here anyway since the last time we were here so I thought we would pull in here and uh, show you holy fun times out here in Richmond recording a video you can see quite a bit going on and when we pan out later you're gonna see even more so this is on Labor Day they don't take a break out here though they are working non-stop to get these houses done. It's been raining almost every single night for the last two weeks. Sorry I've left you hanging, but the weather has been pretty crappy as I get off of work. Plus, I've been doing quite a few different things. Getting the house ready and all that kind of stuff to move into. I'm actually recording this from the new house. So, we're going to head out to the west here initially. I do this in almost every Richmond video. And this is that area where you're going to drive out like a little finger out into the western part. This is the area that was started first. I'm actually kind of surprised that it's not further along. But, you know, I mean, as they go I guess they have a lot of painters out here and this was kind of a painting day there was a lot of vans in the parking lots things like that so they're getting the exterior interiors painted and ready to move into DeLuna is pretty much done now so the focus is over here at Richmond and as we pan you can see all the houses in the background now those were not all there last time Actually, when you pull in right off of uh, 44 on the Megasin, you can see the blue roofs being put in to ri the Richmond area right as you get on to Megasin there. So Megasin runs from the right of your screen up to the left. That's where it hits Brownwood. It also has a Brownwood bridge there so the golf, cor the golf courses, the golf carts can cross Highway 44 and into Brownwood Square. You can see they're lining up the porta potties here. So you know this area is gonna start being worked on next. That's a key feature of what's coming on. Looks like that one doesn't have a roof on it. So whoever uses that porta potty is gonna get a little sunburn, you know what I mean? And then there's Lake Okahumka off in the distance there. You also have St. John's straight ahead. That's the St. John's area and the Lake Okahumka Rec Center. This right here below us is one of the Richmond Rec Centers. If you come straight in off of Megasin on the first road south of Highway 44, this is all the way back. This is one of those village rec centers. The Clarendon Rec Center is toward the front. And they actually have the sand volleyball courts filled out. I know those were a deal breaker for a lot of people, either make or break, because they wanted those sand volleyball courts. If there wasn't sand volleyball courts in Richmond, I don't know how many people would have actually moved into Richmond. You can see they're fencing off quite a bit of this area. I think that's where the dog park is going to go. And that's why they're putting the fence up. Either that or they don't want you to jump in with the gators. It's one or the other. Definitely one of those two things. No promises on either. They might want you to jump in for the gators. I'm not sure. This is a nice little wreck area because you have the pond here. And then you have the walking trail that's going to go around that pond right here. And this walking trail goes between these two marshy areas. So you have the pond on one side and then the marshy area on another. This is kind of a cool looking area here. If you saw the video in Florida, it was down by the Tampa area. There was a guy swimming. He was swimming one way and the gator was swimming toward him. And the gator actually bit him on the head. 12 foot gator. 12 foot gator. Anyways... You won't see those out here 
After a certain size, they get rid of them. Here's the homes all along that little reservoir, pond, whatever you like to call it. And it's been a while since you've seen Richmond during the day. Most of the time I come out here, it's close to sunset time. But this is actually Labor Day, um, Monday, September 5th of 22. I don't know when you're watching this, but um, you can see how bright everything is. Everything's super green because it's been raining literally every single night, like I said. A lot of these houses um, have been up for a while, but they you can see all the vans around while we're flying over. They're painting a ton of them. These houses in the upper right hand corner, these are all the houses that weren't up before. And then we're about to fly over the Clarendon Rec Center where you get to see the sand volleyball courts. You couldn't really see these courts the last time we did the video but now the nets are up and everything's looking good well as soon as we fly over them i guess all of this could be a sand volleyball court if you really wanted to probably wouldn't be the soft sand so you can see this is the clarendon rec center it's kind of strange how they don't have a big building at this one it's more outdoor recreation uh, there is the outdoor volleyball courts there and then you have the tennis pickleball courts also and of course the shuffleboard and the cornhole and all that stuff as well look how bright the sand is for the sand volleyball court it's pretty crazy I figured you guys would want to see what kind of nets they use for the courts since they are so integral to people's decisions to move here. That line looks a little crooked actually. There's a guy laying some asphalt or whatever the surface, laying some surface for the pickleball tennis courts there. These are dog cages. Just kidding, they're not dog cages, they're for kids. Just kidding, they're not for either. I know somebody's going to comment and say they're not dog cages like they did on those other people's video, but that's okay. Those, uh, that's definitely a pool there. I believe that they'll clean that up. I don't think they'll let you swim in that, but you get to see it. One more pass over the volleyball courts just for good measure. Those lines are definitely crooked, by the way. Look at that. And here's the... The new area that they're building up. And this is Megasin that runs right along the right hand side. And then it leads right into Brownwood there. And across the road. They're also building this little area up here which looks like it's going to be um, storage. That's what it looks like to me. I haven't looked anything up on it. I never do just in case you guys are wondering. I never look at what's actually going up i just go by either villagesnews.com or if somebody gives me a tip or tells me but these look to be like storage areas which i mean why not everybody needs more storage so you can bring more things down here so you can pay more money to keep a bunch of stuff in places <laughs> i mean take a look just at the overview of Richmond here, you can see all the houses going in and just how big this area is going to be. We're going to take a look toward the south. We're going to fly over all of this and then head down and see the Richmond Pitch and Putt. And you'll see the Water Lily Bridge and what I call the Fortress of Solitude. If you've never watched a video before of Richmond, Fortress of Solitude is that clump of trees where somebody lives that would not sell their property to the developer so they just boxed them in and gave them an access road and they are good to go this is headed toward the water lily bridge you can see it in the background there you can also see richmond pitch and putt 
which goes along the corner of the Turnpike, Megasin, St. John, runs all the way in between all of those things. And then you have the Fortress of Solitude here. So this is it. There is a couple foundations going in down here, but that's it for Richmond. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Give us a like, a subscribe, all that good stuff. And I hope to see you in the next one.